Officials tell us that the gunman acted alone. Our Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues has more about what we know about him. Late today, investigators sealed off the home where law enforcement sources say Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz lived. It's located in Hickson, Tennessee, which is just about two miles and a few minutes away from where the shootings occurred. Federal law enforcement officials say Abdulaziz is 24 years old and was born in Kuwait and became a naturalized U.S. citizen. His father was from Naples in the West Bank and his mother from Kuwait. He was not on any U.S. terror list and the FBI was not aware of his having any terrorist leanings. Officials will now go through his computers and any social media postings as they try to determine what motivated the gunman to act. The FBI's Ed Reinhold is leading the investigation. We're going to uh, do an intense look at him uh, to see if uh, what his connections are. Uh, we'll look at his friends, families, associates, anybody who uh, is associated with him to, to determine uh, the cause or the reason why he conducted this attack. Officials will try to find out if Abdulaziz was motivated or influenced by ISIS. The group has been calling for lone wolf style attacks in the U.S. on the military and police during the month of Ramadan, which ends tomorrow. Over the July 4th holiday, federal law enforcement officials warned of the potential for an attack. Late today, the Department of Homeland Security called for increased security at certain federal facilities out of an abundance of caution. A week ago today, FBI Director James Comey said agents had made arrests to thwart July 4th attacks, but also acknowledged that ISIS has thousands of followers on Twitter and tracking them is a challenge. Scott Abdulaziz had been stopped by local police. He was booked for a DUI in April. Jeff, thank you, and we've just received word from the Department of the Navy that one of those wounded today was a U.S. Navy sailor. Jeff Pegues reporting for us in Washington.